Welcome back to the channel guys. Thanks for watching my video. This is going to be episode two of the Chaparral Boat Project. So I just want to stop filming real quick because I just pressure washed this whole side of the boat right there. And it's doing a really good job and I saved this part for you guys to see. Look at that. I just did one half. Oh man, it saved me so much time. So much easier too than all that toilet bowl cleaner and magic erasing. But I think after I go back, all these little spots like this once I'm done, I think I'm gonna use toilet bowl cleaner and a magic eraser and just detail it up a bit. But there are some, it does seem like surface damage. I'm not really sure. Um, you can just see the difference, man. Wow. Look at that. All right guys, so here's something new I learned with boat seats, right? Marine vinyl. This is before what I learned. And here's after. Man, what a difference. But I'm gonna show you guys what to do real quick. It's fairly easy. All right guys, so the trick to cleaning this seat up is this spray right here. You can get it at West Marine. I don't recommend getting it at West Marine. It's a lot cheaper at Walmart. They carry it to Walmart here in Florida. The process for this is you just spray it on the seat, you let it soak in, you let it kill all that mold, all that mildew, and you keep doing it over and over again. It'll slowly bring all the dirt out and you'll see it run down. Alright guys, we're going on day three of the Chaparral boat build and I had to finish early yesterday. I was kind of mad about it because cut my time short because um, the storm came in. But it's going to be okay, I promise you guys. It's going to be alright because we're going to get it done. I think the next step after getting the carpet and the boat all cleaned up, since all that's done now, now we can focus on the outside of the boat and our next step is going to be tearing all these decals off and I'm glad you guys are here to do it with me because I hate doing decals. But once these are ripped off, we're just gonna have a white and green boat. And for my channel, 172 subscribers, my huge YouTube channel, I know you guys are out there wondering, you can't sleep at night, you're probably thinking, Mac, what are you gonna do once you tear all these decals off? Cause it's gonna look like crap. Are you gonna wrap it? Like that boat you did in the last video? Or are you gonna keep it the same? Or are you gonna paint it? What are you gonna do, man? Well, stick around to find out. What's going on? He brought the drone over, so we're gonna get some aerial shots of the house so you guys can see uh, how white trash the yard is right now. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. All right, man, ready when you are. Oh, man. That thing's smooth. That's real smooth. Is it recording this? Uh. All right, 
right guys, I finally got one decal strip off. It took me about two hours and that's just not gonna cut it. So I did some research online and my buddy actually had this tool. I'll show you guys real quick. Decal remover, 3M brand. If you guys are curious, you can find them online. But you basically just attach it to your drill and spin it, get the decal off. So I'll show you guys how it works real quick. boys it's day four and yesterday i finally got all the decals off the boat and let me tell you what my arms are roasted because it took i want to say it took about three four man hours to get them off my drill batteries kept dying and i kept having to recharge them so if i end up flipping boats in the future i'm definitely gonna go with a corded setup or i'm gonna get an angle grinder that can put that decal wheel on just for the future through the process i was like man maybe i should just Maybe I should've just kept the boat the way it was and just buffed it out and sold it. I like things to look good. I like them to look marketable. I wanted them to sell fast. I want people to be happy with it. I want it to stick out. So our next step, we're gonna have to sand uh, the whole area where we're gonna paint. And I don't know if I'm gonna just sand the bottom of it or if I'm gonna sand up here too and paint this as well. But overall, everything's going pretty good right now. Uh, the sanding should go pretty fast. I'm only guessing an hour, an hour and a half to do that. And then it's on the prime. So let's